morning. How's everyone today? Hola, Miss Lisa. Hola. All right, can I get cameras on from everybody, please? Goku, is your camera working today? Yep. Yep. Goku, did you get a haircut? Yes. Yes, it looks very nice. Okay, how, oh, sorry, what was our homework from Tuesday? Does anyone remember? Tuesday. Tuesday. There's no homework. No homework from Tuesday. Are you sure? You I don't know. Wednesday we didn't have any homework. Because Tuesday we didn't. Are. You're sick, right? Mm. Yes, I was sick yesterday. So Tuesday. What was the homework from Tuesday? That's. Uh, that's so difficult. <laughs> too far away. It's from Tuesday, right? Yeah, from Tuesday. Can't remember? Here, let me check. Let's check. Uh, the, the scene three. The com classroom conversation and the prompt. Yep. We needed to finish answering all of these questions. Right? So we need to answer question three in the classroom conversation together. And we'll go over the response. So for number three, what can you learn about Miwok beliefs and values from this story? So what did we write for number three here? What kinds of things did we learn about the Miwok culture mm -hmm. and their beliefs and values? What did they think was important? Uh, the honor of the brave measure in Miwok. Mm -hmm. The Miwok people valued honoring uh, heroic and brave um, measuring worm. Well, was it specifically measuring worm or did measuring worm represent a type of people that they honored? A type of people that they honor. Mm -hmm. Heroic and brave people. So we learned this through, who did we learn this through? Who honored whom in our two bear cubs story? Mm -hmm. Uh, the animals honor the measuring worm. Honoring measuring worm for his bravery. Bravery when rescuing the two the, cubs. The two cubs. And what did they do to honor him? Mm -hmm. How did they honor? Measuring they worm. Name the mountain is Tutok Anula. Mountain. Tutok Anula. Tutok Anula. Anula. Which means what? Which means measuring worm, measuring worm stone. stone. Measuring worm stone. All right. All right. So through the actions of the animals, and we know that the Miwok valued honoring their brave okay what's another thing that um we learned about their culture about their values what did all the animals do when mother bear or when mother grizzly needed help did they say oh sorry not my problem can't help you they help her okay so what did we what's a word that we can use to describe this Careful and helpful. Okay, David, let's let someone else have a turn to answer. Caring and caring about who? Caring about Mother Grizzly. Um, <clears throat> so in the story, it was about Mother Grizzly, but Mother Grizzly was a member of what? The animals? In the forest. And what can we call that? All the animals in the forest were part of a family. Family or, or friends. Okay, what's the word in our question? The essential question at the beginning of the story. Members of a community. Community, right? 
So do you think the Miwok people thought that community was important? Mm -hmm. So we could say they also Um, yeah, they also believed that members of a community should help each other. In the story, all the animals in the forest helped Mother Grizzly when she was looking for her cubs. Her naughty cups. Mm -hmm. All right. So we know that the Miwok people valued honor and community through the story. Does that make sense for everybody? Yep. Yep. Good job. Okay. Um, now let's look at the response. So it says measuring worm helps bring the cubs back safely to Mother Grizzly. What qualities did he show when helping the cubs? Use text evidence to write a character description of measuring worm. Would anyone like to share their response with us? Lisa, can I pull yours up on the screen? Yes. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> While saving the cubs, Measuring Worm showed that he is a good leader that directed the cubs to go down the mountain instead of struggling to help them down. He also is very caring and knows how to encourage the cubs. He told that the cubs are brave. He also cares about Mother Grizzly that she really missed her cubs. All right, good job. So what kind of character traits did Lisa give to Measuring Worm? He is a? Uh, good leader. Good leader. He was also very? Caring. Caring. Right, so we know that by he is caring towards the cubs and towards Mother Grizzly. Okay, good job, Lisa. Would anyone else like to share their response with us? No one else? Hong Lop, do you want to share? No. No, Katie? I think I could share, but I don't want to. Really? Yes. Anyone else? Hong on, would you like to share your response with us? Hang on, would you like to share with us? No. No? What about James? No. Virhong? No? Okay, so let's do one together then. <clears throat> so what are some character traits that we can, so other than uh, Lisa's, what are some other character traits <clears throat> that we can give to Measuring Worm? He is thoughtful and determined. Okay, determined. Any other character traits? Brave. Thoughtful, determined, and brave. Okay, so we could say Measuring Worm showed that he was brave and determined when, when he helped bring the cubs down the mountain cubs back safely to mother grizzly 
So what is something, how did he show that he was brave? What did he do that was very brave, Alex? Alex? That showed that he was very brave. Did remind when he helped her bring the cup back to Mother Grizzly. What did he do that showed that he was brave? We're looking for text evidence now. Alex, mm -hmm. what did uh, Measuring Worm do to show that he was brave? Bring the, the cup back to Mother Grizzly. From where? From, from the high mountain. Okay, so we can, and so he had to climb a very tall mountain, mountain to, to reach whom? To reach the young brother. To the reach brother. Mother, the brothers. The brothers. So, so to reach the cubs. Okay. Was this a very easy task or was it very scary for him? Very scary. Mm hmm. Say, even though it was scary for him because he was, he was small. So small. He could fall. Climbed the mountain anyways. Anyways. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what about showing his determination. How did he show determination? Say James. Uh, even when he's scared, he still, uh, he still want to climb and help the cubs. All right, so we'll say climbing. How was climbing a mountain easy or difficult? Climbing a mountain is was a very difficult job, but he. But he. Who did he think of in order to keep going? Uh, he think of Mother Gridley. And. And. Uh, decide to climb up, still climb up. Mm -hmm. Continue climbing. Okay, so now we have some text evidence to support our opinion, and then we need a conclusion. I can say, um, despite his small size, measuring worm, used his bravery and determination to rescue the cubs when no one else was able to. Despite means to ignore. So yeah, ignoring his small size or despite, even though he was small, he was still able to complete the task, right? Okay. All right, so this is an example of what your response could look like, right? So we have our opinion statement, some text evidence, and a conclusion. Does that make sense for everyone? Should we do a quizzes to review our yes, play? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a quizzes to review, and then we will... Uh -oh read the article for lesson 19. Oh, bears. Mm -hmm. Bears. OK. 
Okay, put the link in the chat for everyone. Okay, let's see how many people. Three more people. Two more people. Okay, if you're at home, are you getting on? What about Ronaldo? Are you gonna yep, Ronaldo's on there, Lisa's on, David's on. Alex is on. Where's James? Is on. Where is Kang An? There we go. Okay, is everyone ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. Hang on, is your quizzes working? Guess what is too lag? Is it lagging? Hmm. All right, when you're finished, go ahead and type into the chat what score you got. I got one incorrect. Really? I got two incorrect. <laughs> Which ones did we get incorrect? I got three incorrect. Okay, should we go over some of them for tomorrow? Let's yeah. see what everyone, the, the ones that we got the most incorrect, and we'll review those tomorrow, okay? <sighs> okay, so let's get our journeys books out. We are going to talk about
Whose land is it? So pages 156 and 157 in your journeys book, please. Okay, what is the genre for this article? <laughs> David, what's the genre for this article? The genre, the genre is informational text. Can you read to us about it? Informational text gives factual information about a topic. This is a newspaper feature article. All right, good job. So this is an article from a newspaper and it's giving us facts and information about a topic. So just by looking at the pictures or the photographs here, what do you think the topic is? Hong Nop, what do you think the topic of this article is? It's about animals. Okay, what kind of animals? Pets or wild animals? Wild animals. Wild animals. So I want everyone to type into the chat. What's the difference between a wild animal and a pet? How are wild animals and pets different? Okay, so you can think about where they live, their behavior. Okay. All right, David, what did you write? What do you think about wild pets and, and sorry, wild animals and pets? Uh, wild animals mostly live alone, but pets, uh, they live along with humans. So when you say alone, do you mean like by themselves, like one animal will live alone or without humans? Without humans. Mm, got it. Okay, Goku, what did you say? For pets, uh, they live outside, uh, inside with humans. Yep, good job. And why don't animals live outside? Mm-hmm. Okay, Sophia, what did you say? Um, pets are easily to train, but wild animals not easily to train. That's because right. They, they have live in the forest. Yep, that's right. Good job. Um, Lisa, what did you say? Um, a wild animal, a wild animals are free. They live in the wild, not being controlled and feeded by humans like. All right, good job. And by feeded, you mean fed. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good job, Lisa. Uh, Hong Nop, what's your idea about them? A wild animal is very dangerous because it can bite you, but the pets have learned, so they are kind. That's right. Good job. Katie, what did you say? Um, uh, uh, wild animals sometimes very dangerous, but pet animals, they are easy to, like, we, uh, have, uh, I don't know what to say that, uh, like, we What's the word all, you used uh, in like, your, in the chat? Are easy to communicate. Yeah, easy to communicate with, right? How can you communicate with a pet that's living inside of your home? 
What can you do? Like we uh, told them what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can give them commands. Well, they just very dangerous and they are wild. Yeah, if you went to a wild tiger and you said, sit. They will eat us. Is the tiger going to sit? No. No. I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Yeah, territorial. Territorial. Yep. James, what did you say? Uh, wild animal. I don't, I don't know. Domesticated. And yep. pets are domesticated. Mm -hmm. Yep. So wild animals are not domesticated. And pets are domesticated. So when we domesticate an animal, that means we use them for like we can use them for farming or we can use them as pets. They live alongside people. Or they could guard a home. They could guard the house. Mm -hmm. Yep. So think like animals like dogs and cats and horses. Those are domesticated animals because we yeah. use them for our own personal use, right? I, did, I didn't think the wild animal didn't want to hurt us. Maybe, but they just have a different kind of thinking, right, no, Alex? Maybe sometimes poachers come, they destroy habitat, their habitat. They might think of the other humans might do it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, so let's talk about our photographs and captions. Alex, why don't you read to us about photographs and captions? Photographs shows true pictures of important text details. Caption tells more about these photos. So in the annotations, so go ahead and turn your annotations on. Well, I have it turned on. Uh, can everyone circle the photographs in this article? All right, Viet Hung's got it, Alex has got it. Sophia's got it, David, good job. So we have two photographs on this page. All right, um, Ronaldo, can you read to us? Okay, that's enough annotation, annotation, please. Uh, Ronaldo, can you read to us about what's going on in this photograph here? A coyote and no stranger to city. One. Even walk into a restaurant in Chicago within a moment. A panicking worker had climbed it onto the counter. All right, good job. So the caption below the photograph tells us more about what's happening. All right, we see a coyote in a restaurant. So the caption gives us some information about what he's doing in that restaurant. Okay, uh, Goku, can you read the other caption for us? Peep. Habitat loss. No, is that a caption? A people and wild animal. Is that a caption? A caption tells what's happening in a photo. Uh, running. Yep, running go ahead. Running into an, an expired alligator can be horrifying people may have to make emergency step like having a trapper catch the animal. Good job. So that one tells us about an why this alligator is in a pool. All right, good job. And then what about our headings? I see two headings on this page. James, can you read the headings for us, please? Uh, the headings is uh, whose land is it? This is the title of the article. Uh, the heading is people and wild animal. Okay, that's one, people and wild animals. Do you see another heading? Uh, another heading is habitat loss. Yep, good job. So those are gonna tell us the different sections of our text. Okay, so let's read this together. 
So people and wild animals. Hang on, can you read this section, please? People and people and wild animals. Pe people and animals need place to live. Animals have lived live in the wilderness for thousands of years. They live in upside inside forest, ocean, ocean, and also habitats. Yet, wild animals also live in people yards. They live in cities too. All right, good job, Kang An. So, what about habitat loss? Katie, can you read it for us, please? Um, why are wild animals moving closer to people? They are losing their habitats and they must find new places to live. Fire destroy many animals' homes. Some years are especially hungry and can Two thousand six. In two thousand six, fires burned nearly ten million acres of wild land in the United States. People are destroying habitats too. People built homes, stores, and roads where wild animals live. In Florida, many homes are near swamps and waterways. These are places where alligators live. Okay, so it gives some reasons in this section as to why animals are losing their homes. Viet Hong, can you tell me what is one cause of habitat loss? Uh, people build homes, stores, and roads where animals, wild animals live. Yep, that's one. People destroy habitats. Okay, what's another reason for habitats getting destroyed, Lisa? Can you say the question again? Can you tell me another cause of habitat loss? Um, fire destroy many animals' home. Mm -hmm. Yep, so this article tells us that people and fires are destroying animals' homes. Okay. And then what is the effect of animals losing their homes? Hong Nok. When people or fires destroy animals' homes, what happens then? What do the animals do? The animals exactly. must find a new place to live. And where often is this new place to live? In human places. David, is it your turn? Near houses. Near houses. All right, so often these wild animals then move closer to people's houses. Okay, next page. Changing ways. Alex, why don't you read to us about changing ways? Alligators have been around since prehistoric, prehistoric times. They mostly fear people. Yet that may be changing. Why is it? The reason is far from mystery. Some people feed, feed alligators. Then those alligators stop fearing people. They may think that people will feed them. Other animals link people to food too. Scientific experts know, about, know, know a lot about Black bears. Country bears look for food during the day. City bears eat at night. They know that people will put out garbage, so city bears find food in dumpster and trash cans. How can people keep bears away? People need to change their habits. They should use bear-proof trash cans. They should fasten the cans immediately after use. If bear can get food, they won't, won't come back. Okay, good job, Alex. So <clears throat> uh, it says that bear, sorry, alligators are now becoming less afraid of people. James, what is the reason for this? 
they might think that people will feed them. And why would they think this? Because some people feed alligators. Yep, some people feed alligators. They may think all people will feed them and then they're not afraid of them anymore. Okay, uh, what is another example of an animal that's moving in with these humans? David, tell me another example. Raccoons. The, where does this text talk about raccoons? No, no, bears. Bears, what does it say about bears? Uh, bears as they did uh, say that uh, country bears uh, look for food during the day, but city bears eat at night. Okay, so what kind of food are these city bears eating? Uh, like a, a food in dumpsters and trash cans. Yep, they find food in dumpsters and trash cans. And um, Sophia, how can people keep bears away? Uh, build a fence. Where does it say build a fence? Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Uh, people need to change their habits. And what kinds of habits can they change? What can they do? They, they uh, should use their proof trash can. And? They should fasten the cans met uh immediately immediately after use yep good job if bears can get food they won't come back mm -hmm. the bears can't get the food then they'll stop coming to look for it good job okay so for homework today you're going to choose one of these prompts on the compare text page Okay, so think about text to text. Compare bears. Compare the bears in two bear cubs with the bears described in whose land is it? In which text are the bears realistic? Realistic means similar to real life. In which do they act like people? What can you learn about bear behavior from each text? So make sure to support your answer with text evidence. So that's the first one. You can also think about text to self. Whose land is it describes some experiences people have with wild animals. Think about a time you had a funny, scary, or interesting experience with an animal and write a paragraph that tells what happened. And then text to world. Think about older brother and younger brother and two bear cubs. Discuss with a partner how they are alike and different. Compare how they act toward each other with how human brothers sometimes act. All right, so how many of these prompts are we writing to respond to? Three prompts. You're gonna respond to all three, David? I uh, know, one prompt. So James, how many of these are we going to answer? Uh, one prompt. Right. Alex, how many are we going to answer? Three. So everyone's going to respond to one, and Alex will respond to all three. Does that sound good? But how come you said three, Alex? Uh, one. Goku, how many of these are we answering? One. Ronaldo, how many of these are we answering? One. Okay. So choose one and then write to respond to it. I will put a Google Doc on the classroom assignment now. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? No. No. Okay. No. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.